All right, guys, just as in my guide, I'm not going to have any intro. Let's get right to it. going to create my name here and we'll get going. Shoes in my class. So what I recommended in my guide was pick whatever you think is fun or looks cool, which I still stand by. I, however, have already played all the classes, so I'm just going to go with what's most efficient right now, which will be the Tomb Racer. And then later on, when I get to choose another one, I'm going to pick the Knight just so I get the mount movement speed passive. Okay, so before anything, I have asked in the Trove Academy Discord if someone can invite me to that club. Uh, it seems one guy might do it in a couple seconds here. Uh, if he weren't to, I would ask in the global chat to see if anyone else would. Oh, there it is. Boom. Oh, I can't even talk in that chat. <laughs> so now we're in the club and if I were a new player, I would finish this whole tutorial because it teaches you a lot of basic things. However, I've already done all that, so I'm just gonna hold H on my keyboard and go to the hub. All right, we're here and it's noisy as hell, so I'm just gonna move away a little bit. All right, so skipping the tutorial, I get no direction of what to do, but if you press I on the keyboard, you can get the quests here. Uh, so I'm gonna go for this one and it tells me on the top of the screen, welcome to the hub, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna do that, but before that, I see I have a very slow mount here and we will get another one free later, but there's also a couple codes that you can apply to your account, which gives you some mounts, some mastery. It's just nice to get. So I link those first in the description if you want to get them for yourself. All right. So now I have applied the codes from the description. So we're just going to take this first quest and enter the first world so we get all the things and now we can see our quest up at the top right and it tells me to enter a medieval highlands world and you can use this thing or you can just look at the bottom left of your screen and you see Control a opens the map and it wants me to well there's an arrow to the tutorial portal but it actually wants us to go here so let's do that okay so here you can see the mounts i got I'm going to equip the salt one. I don't know why I like it, but I do. So now I'm just going to focus on this quest at the top right, because our first goal is just to complete that whole quest line about gems. And this first one will lead us there. I'm just going to change my appearance real quick. All right, there we go. So when we press M, we can see the map. You can see the dungeons. I'm going to go into one right now. I was also thinking about, you probably see my UI looks very different. So I was thinking I will make a video about my mods and then I will make a video about like how to build all classes. That's on my to-do list for now, I think. The free to play series, all classes, how to build them and the mods. First quest complete. What's the next one? So yeah, okay, so I think you guys get the drill by now. In the beginning, I'm just gonna do all the quests that pop up in the top right. So I will just make a little montage or maybe I'll just skip the whole thing until I'm at a point where I feel like I need to mention something. All right, actually in this second dungeon, right after what I just said, I just thought that I should mention when you're in the club, look at P. <laughs> okay, no, wait, uh, that's not even funny. Okay, press P. And you can see your clubs just make sure that the one you want at the top is like if you go to the settings you can press set primary i think it did that automatically for me since i just joined this first one but you need to have the club with all these buffs as your primary club then it's up here you have all these things active yeah just make sure your best one is at the top and you can join this same one i'm in if you join this discord right here now i'll continue with the quests Okay, so we're at the point where the quest told me to look at the shop. And here you can see this free starter class that I was talking about earlier. Buy that. Also, if you didn't get those codes, you will get your first fast mount from this. And as you guys know, this series is free to play, so I will not buy anything. If I would have bought anything, it would have been Patreon. I think I talked about it in the guide. I just like the value of this. It increases the more you play. So it feels rewarding. I just buy one month at a time when I do it. And if you were to do that, you would get this thing. You will get a free bonus class. You can choose any class except those listed there. And you can get those classes later. But if you just want like a certain class immediately, you can except those. All right. So with this free class coin, as I said, I will unlock the knight. And this spot is locked right now, but this will be my subclass. So I will equip the knight here when I can. On with the quests. And immediately I have something to say. So you see this guy right here in the world I spawned in the permafrost. So if you look at the map, each of these will have their own daily quest to take. 
Um, I should probably save this for later because the daily quests gives a lot of experience. So I kind of want to keep it for later levels today. But also you can get a locked adventure in strong box when you complete it. And that can sell for a lot of flux on the market. And if I were to sell that thing on the market, that would give me pretty much all the flux I need to buy a full set of stellar gear later. So that's why I will take this now. But for the experience value, it would have been wiser to save it. Okay, so the first daily quest I did, I didn't get the strong box. But now the quest was actually to talk to a guy here that gives us a quest. And it's to clear a cursed skull pile. So within these next six dungeons, I hope I will get a cursed skull. So I can do that in the meantime. Actually got one immediately here. Nope, didn't get it. So now we're at a point here where we craft a ring. I hope I get jump as a second stat because that's very nice to have in the beginning. So you can just jump up those dungeons, etc. Let's see. Energy region. Oh man. Oh wait. I just got this ally from the quest. But I also see that from those codes we applied, we also got one. Which gives 50 light. That will be nice later. Although at that point it won't even matter, I guess. So it's between 2 jump and 1% crit hit. I think I'll take the jump <laughs> and on with the quests. Now we're at the point where delves are introduced, which is the dungeon system. So at this place you can queue up for a public one, which is the quest. So I just gotta do it. Or actually I don't think I need to finish it like this, but I will. But we can also join delve. As I've said in the guide, where we can find groups of people doing delves together and we can team up uh, at this point point in time where I'm 260 power rank that's completely irrelevant and now it's Monday so you can see people are spamming XSSF which is a shadow shard farm it's just so they can gain flux they just run around with neon ninjas and collect crystals but yeah now we're just gonna do this delve and we'll continue with the quests so in this public delve, I can use my mount. Uh, you can see at the top right what the objective... Well, you can't see it anymore, but it was uh, to clear two rooms. You can see at the top, we have those lines. The filled ones means that we have cleared that room. So we clear two rooms and now we can just go to the end. It says reach curl skulls two. That means two players need to reach the end. So yeah, see you there. Ooh, nice. Now we're at a point where we will get Patron for one day. I think it activates automatically, but that will be very nice. Then we'll get all those bonuses and I will abuse it to hell. <laughs> uh, let's see. And we're only two fifths into the daily star bar, which is our currency we get per day. Uh, our first goal here with that is going to be, I think it's here. Yep, the arcane emblem is what I'm going for because that will give us a lot of damage when we pop our potions. That is my first goal. And after I've obtained this, I will go for the death defying vial. And before I have the death defying vial, I will buy one from the market, but we'll get to that. We want to go for this quest, gem expertise. This is what will give us some good gems to start with, to get some power rank going. And it tells me to reach level 10 before he will show, so I'm just gonna go and do one dungeon, because I need like 1 XP. Bruh. So be right back. Alright, there we go, we're level 10, and I'm just gonna look here, because yeah, at level 10, you can choose the subclass, so yeah, I only have the Knight. It only says plus 1 flask capacity here, but if I hold it, it will tell me increased movement speed while riding ground-based mounts. Here you can see the different tabs. This last one is irrelevant. Here's the gems. I can equip a water one now. I think it will give me one through the first quest. And this one shows the rewards we get and what mastery rank we are. So when this reaches 20, we can use the market. I'm gonna wait a little bit until I feel like I need better gear. Also, as I'm playing, or well, as all of you are playing, you can press F1 and here you can see the daily bonus. And now if we press I, we can see talk to gems in the Trove Hub to learn about how to find and strengthen gems. Also, here we have a chance at a locked adventure in strong box. So I will take it once again. This one is to gather some logs and I have a mod that tracks them like that one. All right, there we go. Locked adventure in strong box. That is huge because 
when we get the marketplace, we only have one slot that we can sell things in. So it would be pretty slow for me to sell like one small thing at a time. Now, when we got this locked adventure in strong box, we can start by selling that and that will already give me enough flux to buy what I need. So now killing the enemies here is fairly easy still, but it would be way easier with stellar gear. So what I'm going to do now that I got this adventure in strong box, press J, just Click trial on each of these. You can do them in order or whatever. Just get them to all level four and one by one until you hit mastery rank 20 here, because then you can use the market, as I've said like a million times probably. And I'm gonna do that now so that I can get my stellar gear. All right, we got a little pop-up here, collection challenge. If you see collection challenge, definitely go do it. I'm gonna show you right after this dungeon if I hit level four. So yeah, as you saw, you just go to the hub, you go to that portal and it's a different map every time. Not every time they don't have infinite maps, but there are a pool of maps and this is the one we're at right now. So the best strategy is just to follow some pattern, like go, never go like backtracking or anything. Just move in like a just find coin, spam your dodge so you can move faster. And I'm just going to go around here for a bit, collect some gold coins. They're worth five. Also, if you press tab, you can see how many you need for the last score there. 95 plus. And now we're at 104. So yeah, we can just wait. And now I'm going to continue leveling these guys. Also, I didn't even mention how I do that is I just go to this first world and I just do dungeons. That's it. So back to business. We swap to this guy. We can now press U for the market. We have 4k flux and we're going to sell the locked adventure box. It's currently, well, let's, let's actually check. Uh, locked. Okay, so 34,000 seems to be a flat lowest price. It says 32 here, but that one got bought out, so don't trust that. And when this sells, we're going to go into trade chat and look for stellar gear. And meanwhile, we'll just continue with the quest as usual. I kind of regret making a Tomb Racer because these guys are making noise all the time when I'm trying to talk. and I don't want to mute the game entirely, so yeah, we'll just have to live with it. But now we're at the point where we get our first gem. So let's see, open a gem box, just open one. And then we get this locked water gem box, which we have also gotten a key for. I think we got it right now. Yep. So now we're going to press the key. Boom. We got an arcane gem. Nice. Uh, we got health, health, which sucks because we want crit damage and crit hit, but we'll take it because right now we only care about getting that sweet PR. Uh, ideally, you want to level your gems on Wednesday because that's when you get a discount. But yeah, we're just going to get it to five now. I'm going to get all my gems to five because you get a little extra boost and I'm just going to do that on all the stellars. Ah, and now the quest is to upgrade a gem. So yeah, I guess I will uh, level it up once more. And from that, we get the Radiant Gem here. It has physical damage, unlucky, and we'll get that to five as well. I guess I'll get Radiant and Stellars to level five. Let's go to the easiest water world. And what we get here, we can actually grab another quest. Okay, wow. So by doing that quest with the five boxes, we actually got another locked adventure box. So now I will take even more desperate measures. I will sell two for only 30k. Okay, there we go. We just sold it. We sold them. It's time, guys. It's time. I want to buy stellar staff, face, hat, ring, MD. That's all I care about, really, I guess. All right, so this guy is going to sell me the things, I hope. Uh, let's see what he has. Nice. Uh, let's input... Uh, well, that's too much. Uh, 30k. Nice. And someone else invited me. He didn't have staff. Thank you very much. No, someone else is inviting me. Let's see what he has. There we go. Nice. So, what I think is a fair price is 10k for the items. 
Like, they're not worth that much to loot collect, but someone taking their time to sell it to you, that's worth 10k. <laughs> that's what I think. So now that we equip this, we're at 4,500 power rank. That's a pretty good boost. And oh, I forgot. Now that we are able to use the market, we can buy a ally that we can use for now. And when you're magic, this is actually an advantage. You can buy Prefect Penguin, 7k, take that. Look, we get 20% magic damage for 7k flux. That's really good. We will get some delve allies later, but this is really good placeholder for now. And if you are a physical, I'm sorry, that one costs 90k. <laughs> so yeah, then you'll have to wait pretty much. What's that costing? Ooh, just enough for us to afford. So yeah, I'll probably go for this one before I get death defying when I have the flux. Uh, our next item to sell, let's see what we have. Enchanted wood, I have a lot. Oh, that's 30k if I sell that for min price. Let's just check that that actually is min price. 670, wait, sort by unit price. Oh, I didn't even sort by unit, wait. Okay, we're still good. I didn't sort by unit price. Make sure you do that so you get the lowest ones first. So once you have gotten your stellar gear or even crystal, you want to make sure you get all stats available. We're going to go to the enchanted forge. Put that in. I don't have any pearls, so we're going to have to buy them. Let's hope there are some small stacks. Okay, so we don't have enough for this yet, so I will get back to it when we have it. So what do we do now? We continue questing. We got a gem from that quest. Air gem. Oh, okay. It's only called air gem. So that could be re-rolled to magical and physical. If it's called fierce, it's only physical. If it's called arcane, it's only magic. So yeah, this one could be used later, but uh, I probably won't. Level five. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I couldn't because I don't have that dust yet. Okay. After finishing the air quests, I should be able to get this to five. There we go. Okay, so now it's introducing us to Shadow Tower. This place, you can do some dungeons here, but they give you nothing. The only thing that's valuable here is the badges, but that's so far into late game that you don't even have to think about it. The only thing we do here is use our Delve Rewards. We go here, and in these tabs, Lunar Soul, Titan Soul, we're just gonna buy all of this for our Titan Souls before eventually just going for Titan Treasures. That gives us Flux. We can sell them or open them as you want. Lunar Souls. Here we also get everything before we spend them on... Well, here's the thing. If we have the Empowered Gems we want on our main, we're gonna just go for like the Tomes first and then like the Wings maybe. Just go whichever order you want the things. And then you want to just keep the Lunar Souls for other things that have to do with gems, which we'll get into also. Okay. Okay, so from some of the quests here, we got a empowered one for air, radiant, physical damage. God damn it. Yes. Get it to five. Oh, and now the quest is to complete adventures. So we get some more chances at locked boxes. Let's go. Since I already did permafrost and cursed veil one, I will start here in Desert Frontier. I've also done Fey Forest, I've done Water. So yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> tricky to find five here. Maybe I should have saved them. And with that, we end part one.